and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new deck we're going to be playing Give It All Ramp. So we're going to be playing Ramp with two new KDA cards. So if you were watching the stream before, we did play against this deck a few days ago and it looked super powerful and got some feedback of people wanting to see that deck on stream. And so this is a list that uh, in the in the comments over on YouTube whenever we played it the other day um, that somebody put the link to the deck in there and so thank you for that and so we're that's the list that we're going to be playing here all right so basically we're we're playing P and Z with Freljord with um, our ramp Trundle and Vi are our champions we're ramping into Feel the Rush of course y'all y'all know this card <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of this card just existing and everything but it is incredibly incredibly powerful but that's what we're going to be doing is getting two you know our two champions in play making them 10 tens so we'll get our vi and our trundle in play make them 10 tens now um so let's say we do that and we have these two in play with them being 10 tens then we play give it all so eight mana you raise all allied power and health to the highest power and health or health among allies grant all allies allied keywords so that means we have the two 10 tens in play, so we get to make all of our other units that we have in play also 10 tens. So that means our our ramp cards, our faces of the old ones, and our weirding stones, and things like that, like these early things, we can turn these all into being 10 tens. Plus, they get the keyword, so they'll have uh, challenge, you know, they'll be 10 tens with challenger and tough and regeneration. And if Trundle is leveled up, they'll all have overwhelm. <laughs> so that would be pretty crazy. That's what our opponent did to us. That's what we're going to be trying to do here. And uh, yeah, that's the goal. Okay, so let's see. Let's uh, play some Give It All Ramp. We're going to go play our five games over in Ranked. All right, playing against the Karma deck. That means that they are going to be a Deny deck. Unfortunately, we don't like seeing Deny around here. Gonna mulligan all these. We're gonna keep the face of the old ones. Oh no. Let's say hopefully find an eight mana card. There we go. Eight mana card. <laughs> yeah, there is so much greed in this deck, for sure. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. This deck's all about the greed. I am prepared. Trolls. That's not bad. Turn three, get a three-five regenerate. Not bad at all. Little's cross easy. That seems pretty good. That egg, did it move? Kills over enforcer on the scene. Play Vi. So this turn I can either play Trundle or play Catalyst, which I guess now I could go Weirding Stones. I guess we do the Trundle. The are going to war. Go to war! Go to war. Really need. Like, you know, like, the obviously the Trundle just eats a 1-1, one, one, but, you know, like, at least starts getting these 1-1s one, out of the way, I suppose, right? Yeah, because they can't have Ruination this turn. They'd have to have Ruination next turn if they had it. Alright, so this turn we can double ramp. No I think I'm just going to play the give it all right now. That means all of my things will be 6-6 six, six, challenger tough regeneration. Let's do it. My first time playing this card. <laughs> I 
Oh, and then this thing's gonna regenerate. <laughs> Opponent's like, this is fine. Yeah, I could definitely get Ruination, but that's the thing, is like they kind of have to have Ruination, because if they don't... And it's not like I use like that much resources, like look at all the cards in hand. But I kept their Thresh from like challenging this other stuff. So now if they Ruination, I go Feel the Rush. If they don't want to Ruination, then that's cool. I'll just keep all my 6-6. Six, six. Really big things in play. I don't feel like there's too much incentive for me to do anything. Gonna clear out a blocker. That makes more sense. I can cast the Flash Freeze to give Vi to have Vi be 10 power to level up Vi. All right, that'll do though. GGS. Didn't even need a Field of Rush. Give it all was incredible. Sejuani Darius. We're going double six drop. Okay, we got ramp, ramp. I'm gonna mulligan these two. I don't mulligan ramp very often, but I guess we're gonna do like catalyst into trundle. Maybe we don't need another catalyst after that. Yeah, we got five mana champions. They have six mana champions. So we'll see which one's better. With it being a Darius deck, you expect it to be aggressively slanted. So this kind of stuff makes sense. Who's gonna get in my way? I'll lead with the Catalyst instead of Weirding Stones so that our Weirding Stones doesn't get Avalanche. Then I guess I don't get to double spell though. I guess that's a negative. The trolls are going to war! I don't think I need to worry about, like, protecting Trundle. Oh. Well then. Yeah, that one's gonna hurt. That one's gonna leave a mark. Man, this is just really good with Trundle plus Ice Pillar plus 
Um, give it all. So if I play give it all right here, these will be, these will all be, um, five eight, overwhelm regeneration. Bow to your king. Come on, come on. Like this, and then make them bigger. This is gonna be fun. So we can make them all eight eight, overwhelm regenerations. Yeah, Nocturne Fervor kills me. Yep. I mean, I direct damage is just going to kill me. And that's just the way it is. You got a problem? Let's talk about your attack. Hoping that works. One smack will do. Noxus lives on. Hoping that works. Snow Sunder, huh? Good as bone shiver. Ah, GG's. One and one. If I knew exactly how that game was going to play out and could redo it, I probably could have, you know, I could have stayed alive at least through that long, but. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got ramp, ramp. Do I want, like, ramp into Vi? I'd have the attack token turn four, so I could kill a Weirding Stones. Maybe. I guess I'd have to play something else to be able to kill a Weirding Stones, though. Because Vi will only be a three four. Yeah, Give It All's been crazy, hasn't it? Even though. Even though we lost that game, it was still pretty insane. Nothing escapes my watch. In Avarosa's name. King of Trolls coming through. So they have no ramp at all. Smashing! I don't know if I'm supposed to let them draw this card. Then maybe that card is like the ramp card they needed. No. Nope. But now maybe this next one is. And so they're a little ahead or something. I don't know. Yeah, the next one. That was finally the Weirding Stones. Basically, do I want to play Give It All this turn, or do I want to play Vi first? On the scene. Probably Vi first. Hey, Kitty Dexterity, thank you so much for the bits. This does mean they have a lot of things that can kill my Vi if they want to, like, Avalanche or something. Okay, they're just gonna flash freeze there. 
I'm gonna be ramping. So I'm hoping... <clears throat> I'm hoping we get to cast this, give it all this next turn. And have it resolve. I don't want it to get denied. So we're calling the Tavern Keeper first. Yeah, they're passing. I mean, I guess I go for it. I don't know. Maybe I don't go for it. Because they're probably going to have to, like, War Mothers, Feel the Rush, that kind of stuff, and then I could, I could have it resolved then. Um, but basically, let's say I go to attacks next turn, and then they, like, harsh wins... Um, and so then I, like, pass again, and, like, I don't do any damage, and then they feel the rush on their turn, and then I cast Give It All at that point. Yeah, then we're good there. So, yeah, let's pass. Okay, so, yeah, that's, that's good. Yep, there's the flash reasons. Oh, and a stun. Snow Sunder, huh? Good as bone shiver. So I'd only give them five health right now. Oh, they they have deny available anyway. So yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. that if they play Feel the Rush and I play this, give it all, I think that we win that scenario, I think. I think that situation is good for us. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. Swift foot. So let's do this. Smashing. Get ready for a beat down. So eleven mana. Also annoying. I don't get to don't get to like troll Ravager first before give it all. If they have another Swift Foot, that's of course bad for me. But feel the rush wouldn't be bad. And so I was kind of you know seeing if they would spend all their mana for feel the rush. Doesn't look like that's the case. No, I think they want a frostbite. One smack will do. Why am I challenging the 08 over here? I should just have my I should just have the 08s challenge the 08. I don't know why. Why am I even killing that 08? That's how we do it. Are you ever gonna play Field of Rush? Could have gone, yeah, could have gone for lethal with a vault breaker, but you know the the freezes are definitely a feels bad. King of trolls coming through. For the thrill of battle. So hopefully they don't have another Mina Swift butt.
These things are pretty big. So they'll have Challenger Tough, Overwhelm, and Regeneration. It's always cold in the Frel Yard. Yeah, if they're playing the same deck I played the other day, it'd be three Swift Foot. And I played into that. Smashing. Yep, playing a couple harsh wins. This is gonna be fun. I really messed up by challenging their 08 with my Vi. That's where I really messed this up. I should have just had my 08 challenge their 08 that I you know noticed right afterwards and mentioned right afterwards. I really messed up there. Vi stands for vicious. <laughs> that is a pretty strong hunk of ice, isn't it? Get it in. There we go, GG's, leveled up by. Still finishes it out. Alright, two and one. Victorious. Ooh, playing against some Nightfall, this is gonna be a difficult deck. This hand. We need to find something that's expensive. <laughs> yeah, Give It All has been insane so far in these games. No more hiding. I probably want to play Avalanche before playing Faces of the Old Ones. I think that would probably make sense. <laughs> and we'll just take the two for one. You know, potentially could have been better. We'll just take that. The get excited could be really important to get about taking down Nocturne. I don't know if I said that or not. So that's why I want to keep it. Is Nocturne super scary? They forced us to choose death or the blade. Okay, they didn't double pale cascade. Right now, Nocturne wouldn't level up. Maybe I could just block it with the Kindly Tavern Keeper. Ideally, we would play the other faces of the old ones this turn, so next turn I could have 8 mana, so I could have like Ice Pillar into Trundle's Ice Quake. But that leaves me, if I, if I want to do all of that, obviously I don't want to discard Field of Rush, so that leaves me with just only one card, Get Excited, as a possible card to discard. Alright, so I won't have Ice Quake anymore. Of Avalanche now. 
tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me! Wax or wane, we do not fear change. Alessandra will slaughter your people. She promised we would fight together. I'm worried about another unspeakable about an unspeakable horror. Darn it. I was kinda I was hoping they were gonna do pill cascade, so the pill cascade we can blow that up with the get excited. But if they have unspeakable horror, I'd Embrace the darkness. Alright, kill that thing. Night flowers upon my blade. The promise of a new moon upon you, Blue Tempest. Well, it's good to be the king! So Cygnus isn't their plan. They have another Diana. If I try killing this Diana right now, they can play a new one. Night descends. Face your heretic. I will be her. Get a nice draw to. Alright, so I could turn these into 5 7 overwhelms. Alright, I guess that'll do it. They're too scared. They see me drawing. You should be honored. Game number something. Gotta worry about ruination. You know, like give it all and then they ruination. That's not great. Yes, it does give them spell shield, yes. I don't I don't quite remember, Kordak. Leave your bags in the door. Too worried about ruination right come here. On, come on. The trolls are going to war. Ready when you are. Always ready. Trolls out. Be here and ready for fight. Ha, now whole hunting party here. Okay. I honestly just don't really mind this. I just think that, you know, later on, whenever we have Feel the Rush, Give It All, I think Ruination would be more devastating there, and so I, I just don't really mind them playing um, Ruination at that point. I'm doing this my way. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Plunder Poro with Give It All.
Why do I have to keep drawing Avalanche? So I could, I could definitely see them playing Field of Rush this turn. is this Trindamir. How even if we kill it, it comes back stronger. Ugh. Let's get to the fun part. What will you have? So we'll have three 10 power tough challengers. 10 eight tough challengers. Yes, debating between casting Flash Freeze or Conley Tavern Keeper. And decided keeping Flash Freeze for later. See how that is annoying that Trindamir comes back stronger. Certainly do not want any more avalanches. Please don't draw that card. Hope they're sitting on a bunch of avalanche. Have to use flash freeze here otherwise atrocity is going to be a bit, big problem because i can't play like feel the rush and hold up flash freeze to stop atrocity They can have a second ruination, but I hope not. The trolls are going to war. One girl wrecking crew. So they just want to use like harsh winds and stuff like that, right? Like, what if I just pass and make them waste all this mana and go to the next turn? Get even more threats out there. Which one do you know? I've got, like if they if they have vengeance, which one do I want to keep? I think I want to keep the overwhelm with Trundle. Yes, yeah, so that's my plan. Another Fielder Rush. You know, we'll kind of see what they do. Like, if they cast Ruination, I got another... You know, like, they play Ruination, then I play Fielder Rush. If they don't Ruination, if they do anything else. You know, like, if they play, like, their own Fielder Rush, then I can do another one. Um, if they just pass, then I just attack, I guess. It's difficult playing around, like, Harsh Winds and everything like that. Maybe I still just play another Fielder Rush. And, like, how many Ruinations do you think they play? Like, probably two, right? I don't think they'll have. Th I don't think they have three, probably two, and they already played one. It's so, like, do they have the other? If they do, they've been super, super patient. I don't believe they do. These are right. I guess I don't have another Vi in my deck. Right, because we already had a Vi die.
There's the harsh winds that I thought they had. I did call the harsh winds. Called that. This will be a slaughter. Come on. Seventeen. Gonna be close. Come back next time. I do gotta hope that they're out of these frostbite cards. Get ready for a beat down. Hopefully we finally got them. No, another frostbite card. They won't give up with those. So we've had two Trundles die already, right? So the Field of Rush doesn't do anything? Do we play like Trundle on turn four? Yeah, I think we did play Trundle on turn four in this game. Hey, puppy. They definitely feels like they've had atrocity. So they'll be able to use atrocity here. I was hoping that by playing the catalyst first and passing to them that they would do something else. Impossible. Yep, yep, they have... Really, Flash Freeze? Ah, should have waited till next turn to Avalanche. I they have we weathered the storm. That's what I'm trying to say. So they have weathered the storm. I don't need a plan. Okay, anyway. Yeah, we, we only have like six threats in our deck and all the Ruinations and Vengeances and Frostbites, they have gotten rid of them. So they're just doing that to gain three. Yeah, if we if we cast give it all and they frostbite Vi, we will be sad. The trolls are going to war. For the thrill of battle. I wish I would have just played you last turn, Weirding Stones. Should have just had you in play. Attack! Do not stand in my way. All right, this has to work. That's what I was hoping they would have. 
That's what I was hoping they would have. That's why I kept my flash freeze. No! Ugh. All right, need another flash freeze. Oh, get excited. So close. Yeah, if only, like, yeah, like, that's... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so, like, the atrocity... I was wondering whether life total is at 7. I, I just kind of didn't think about that. So, yeah, like, the atrocity sacrificing that, then the Vi doesn't connect, so we didn't do 5 damage to them because of that. So, if we could have still done the 5, even if they would have just gained the 3, would have had to get excited. Yeah, close game. Close game. I'll let you off easy this time. They kept on having exactly what they needed all the time. All right, so that's our deck. Give it all ramp. This was a pretty cool deck that did some really, really crazy stuff. I'd have to say that I was very impressed by this card. Give it all. Especially like those first few games that we were playing, it was just it looked really good of turning a lot of these other things into being, um, you know, into being real threats, you know, turning like your um, extra, like it just works great with Ice Pillar. Like it just, it just Trundle, Ice Pillar, give it all. Just really works really well with it being another eight mana card. So I think it works perfectly here in Freljord um, and, you know, turned all these like little things into big threats. Um, so pretty cool deck here. I don't know. I don't know if there's like a way that we can get one extra good threat. Like, I'm not sure, like, the Voices of the Old One, for example. I'm not sure, like, that card's really necessary. I don't know if, like, maybe we could get one other threat in here instead of that. Like, maybe maybe this deck should be playing, like, one Howling Abyss instead of the Voices of the Old One, for example. Uh, just, like, something else, like, for against the Shadow Out, against your Ruination deck, so you, you don't run out of threats against... Because, yeah, that like, that kind of matchup where they have, like, all Ruinations and... Uh, freezes and stuff like that. That could be pretty tough. So I could definitely see taking out that Voices of the Old Ones playing a Howling Abyss instead. I think I would probably want to do that if I was playing this deck moving forward. Once you have that much mana, like the ramp isn't that valuable. And Howling Abyss gives you something to do before turn 8 also of putting this thing down. Um, and that's true, yes. Howling Abyss also, that's that's true, I didn't really think about that, but it does it does work really well with Feel the Rush where, um, you know, because you'll just be creating level 2 champions in hand, you could still cast Feel the Rush and put those level 2 champions in play, there would be 10-10s, because it does put them in from your hand, um, so that's also good there. So yeah, I think just make that one little change, shouldn't change too much in the deck, but I think that's a, a good upgrade um, going with the Howling Abyss. At that point. Plus sometimes your Howling Abyss will get like Katarina. And then with Katarina you can attack with Vi more often. And things like that. And just all the other champions are all pretty good too. Um, I actually kind of... I liked the Get Excited's actually. I... Not sure if it's better than... Than just playing Gotcha. But I think that dealing 3 damage is really critical right now. There's a lot of champions with exactly 3 health. And this Get Excited was critical against the Nocturne deck, right? Like, they had Nocturne and Diana that was leveled up to 3 health. You have your Misfortune decks that you gotta kill. I think 3 damage is, is really critical. So I liked got I liked Get Excited quite a bit. You do have the cards, like your Faces of the Old Ones, and, like, some of these ramp cards, Weirding Stones, and, like, these ramp cards later on in the game that you don't need, that you can use. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure Get Excited would be better than Gotcha. Uh, that would, you know, need some more testing, but I, I was definitely think that that's worth it. Um, I wouldn't play Thermogenic Beam is very slow, and it also can require, you know, it's slow speed, and also requires a whole bunch of mana. I think these cards are perfect at uh, dealing 3 damage like they are. So either one there. I, you know, get excited or gotcha, you can go either way. 
but I, I liked that quite a bit. I liked the DL3. All right, but that's Give It All Ramp. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.